Hello everybody, welcome to the Once Upon a Sketch screencast. My name is Norman Grock and today I'm going to show you how to use layer masks in Adobe Photoshop. As you can see here I have three characters I've drawn and one in the foreground, the girl sitting on the ground, and two characters on the same layer. But what we want to do is we want this girl in front to not have this character's leg showing through here, but we don't want to erase any of the drawing that I've already done. So to do that, we need to create a layer mask. To do this, you need to select the layer that you want to put the mask onto. In this case, it's layer 13. And then we come down to the bottom right here, and this little button here is called Add Layer Mask. Click that, and as you can see, uh, a white box appears on your layer. And this white is very important because when using layer masks, white is essentially see-through, and black is the mask that you'll be painting on. So, for instance, if we want to get rid of that leg, I'm going to select the paintbrush tool and uh, the color black in the foreground. Then I'm going to zoom in and start erasing out the leg. Erasing is the wrong term I should use. What I should say is painting on the mask. And because I'm painting with pure black, it's hiding everything that I'm coloring with that color. I'm just going to do this really roughly so you can get the idea. There we go. The great thing about layer masks is all that information that we just hid is still there. So if we if we hide the layer mask, you can see that the information is still there. And we bring it back. As you can see here, I sort of missed a spot on uh, the character shoot. So right now we're painting with black. If we switch to the white, we can also reveal things underneath which is great for helping to clean up mis uh, mistakes. I don't think I want that line there. There we go. Okay. Next. There you go. Layer masks also work with opacity as well. So if you also want your image to fade in, you can also do that with a feathered brush as well. So you can hide that. And once again, when you turn off your layer mask, it's all still there without destroying any of your artwork. And the reason why this is so great is, say you're working for a client and all the client loves your drawing and he wants you to move the character that's behind him to the left. You can select that character. Make sure you select the layer artwork and not the layer mask. And then you can move your character around and he's still all there and your mask stays intact, hiding all the areas. Going to move that back real quick. One more thing you can do, let's go ahead and I'm going to fill this with I'm gonna fill the layer mask with white there we go now what I'm gonna do on this layer is I'm gonna make a selection of the girl sitting I'm going to inverse that selection and then on the layer mask I'm going to fill it with black and that's another way to quickly mask out your drawings so the things that you need to remember about layer masks are white will show through and black will cover up. 
So once again, if you look at this thumbnail down in the corner, you can see white is everything that's showing through and the black is the silhouette of the girl sitting on the ground. I hope you found this helpful. I use this every day when I'm drawing. I hope you find a use for it in your daily work. And my name is Norman Grock. To find more of my work, you can visit normgrock.com or visit onceuponasketch.com to find more articles and fun videos like this one. Thanks very much for watching.